welcome to In the Kitchen with Mary Mack. Today we are going to tell you how to make a delicious bourbon bacon pecan pie. And if that sounds excessive, it is. It's really good though. I was pleasantly surprised by how good it was. Um, the reason I found this recipe is because if you'll remember previous podcasts ago, or perhaps you saw on my Mary Mac Bakehouse Facebook page, we made vanilla this summer several times in protest of the high price of vanilla. <laughs> it was called Save Money by Making Your Own Vanilla. And that was kind of like a joke until I found out I actually saved quite a lot of money by making my own vanilla. So during the course of that, we got some bourbon from a local distillery, uh, the, the McLaughlin Distillery in Swickley, PA. And we got bourbon from them and we uh, put vanilla beans in it to see what would happen. And it is very good. It's vanilla infused bourbon. I would not call it bourbon vanilla. <laughs> Still pretty bourbony, but it has this really fantastic vanilla background flavor. So I thought, oh, we've got to find some things to use this in. And boom, this is what pops up. The bourbon bacon pecan pie. So we tried it and it was it was good. It's pretty easy to make. Um, it's different. But if you like pecans and pecan pie, I think you'll really like this. Uh, the bacon, I was wondering how the bacon would be in it. You do taste the bacon, but it gives it a very nice salty flavor. So it really does enhance. I mean, it's what it is. It, it, it enhances the flavor of this pie. I'm sure you could leave the bacon out, but this is, you know, this is what we're making here. It's actually like a breakfast dish when you think about it, you know, with the eggs and all and... Eggs, bacon, pecans, bourbon. Perfect, perfect for breakfast. Perfect. So this is what you do. You're going to use a nine-inch pre-made pie crust, or you can make one if you're good at pie crusts. I am not, as I have confessed in previous podcasts. I used to be. I used to make a just fantastic pie crust until I started working more with bread, and now it's like my hands just don't know what to do. They just can't. They can't do it. They can't be light. They can't measure. You know, I fight it. So I've, I said I'm not fighting anymore. So I either make a uh, pat in the pan crust, which I have the recipe for that available on my website, marymacpodcast.com in the recipe card section, or else I use a store-bought pie crust. So that's what I use for this. Now, you roll out your pie crust into the pie pan, decoratively form your edges if you want to. I did not pre-bake my crust. I didn't feel the need for it, and it turned out fine without doing it. I don't like to pre-bake crusts just because something weird always happens. Um, they get to be shaped weird, or they inflate, or whatever. So I have given up on pre-baking pie crusts for most recipes. So this is what you do. You get your pie crust ready. You put it into the dish decoratively. Do your edge, whatever you're going to do. Set it aside. Now, you're going to need three eggs. I lean toward an extra large egg for this. So three eggs, one cup of regular sugar, four tablespoons of salted or unsalted butter. Unsalted works well with this because you're using bacon, but you don't have to use unsalted. So four tablespoons of butter melted, three tablespoons of bourbon-infused vanilla or vanilla-infused bourbon, I think that's what it is, vanilla-infused bourbon. It, it's too bourbony to be the other way. So three tablespoons of that. If you don't have that, if you didn't watch my fabulous movies <laughs> and make your own bourbon vanilla, you can use three tablespoons of any good quality bourbon and one teaspoon of vanilla, okay? Then a half teaspoon of salt. I did not add the salt. It's a quarter teaspoon of salt. I misread that. I did not add the salt to my pie. I thought I would if I felt like I needed it later, and it did not need it. So I will remove the fourth teaspoon of salt. However, if you make it and you say, oh, this could have used that fourth teaspoon of salt, you know, you can use your own judgment there. But I did not end up using it. And one and a half cups of pecan halves. So you want to get the, the pecans that are the full half of a pecan, okay? Then... Four strips of bacon, which have been cooked, crispy, and crumbled. So this is what I do with the bacon. I, of course, cooked all of the bacon because, you know, you're doing it anyway, right? Then you have bacon. Right. So I got a, a um, I would recommend getting a pack of not the real thin sliced bacon, 
but not the thick sliced bacon either. Average sliced bacon, if that's even a thing. I don't know. I've never read average sliced bacon on a package, but who knows? It could be there. Um, but take your bacon, and what I do is I line a cookie sheet with edges around it, you know, like a jelly roll pan or regular baking sheet. Um, line it with foil, put your bacon on it, and bake it in the oven at 375 for about 30 to 40 minutes, and it'll you know, it just, it's perfect. It's so easy to do this. And, uh, when it's, when it looks very crispy, take it out, drain the grease off of it, and then, um, remove it to paper toweling and let it drain. And you'll need four strips of that all crumbled up. I didn't crumble it up super small because I thought that would be a good texture thing in the pie. So just, you know, don't, you know, it doesn't have to be like bacon bits, but just crumble up the four strips of bacon and then just leave them on your paper toweling. And then mix up your eggs, sugar, butter, add the either bourbon or bourbon vanilla, the vanilla infused bourbon. Don't use bourbon vanilla in this, by the way, the, the, what you buy at the grocery store that says bourbon vanilla, they add water to it. It's very watered down and it doesn't taste good. So either use the bourbon and a teaspoon of vanilla or bourbon that's been infused with vanilla with or without that fourth teaspoon of salt. Mix all that up. What you want to do is put half of your crumbled bacon into the bottom of the pie dish and then put half of your pecans in there, kind of lay them down in there flat, and then the rest of your bacon and the rest of your pecans and kind of shake them down into place and then very carefully pour your egg mixture over the top all around, you know, move it all around. And I'm, I know you can't see me, but I'm moving my hand all around as though I were actually doing this. I'm acting it out on radio. It's true. I can vouch for this. <laughs> so pour it all around on there. And then you're going to, what I like to do is put, like I'll put this, uh, the baking dish on a pizza pan to make it easier to get in and out of the oven, you know? So you're going to put this in the oven that has been preheated to 375. And this takes about 30 to 40 minutes. So you're going to put it in there, 375, and what I usually do is set the timer for 30 minutes and then take a look at that crust. If the crust is browning too much, take a full sheet of aluminum foil and put it shiny side up on top of your pie. Just lightly set it on there to block the heat off of it and then put it in for the extra 10 minutes. And then you can check this um, with a knife if you've ever done a custard sort of a pie. You just take a sharp knife and very carefully stick it into the center and pull it up and see if there's anything that looks like it's not cooked on there. Now, it might be very shiny and slick looking. That's because there's a lot of fat in there. <laughs> but <laughs> it shouldn't have, you know, un unbaked looking. Also, I love that the last few episodes have been like pretty healthy. You did a lot of vegan <laughs> stuff. Tofu. <laughs> this is the opposite. Yes, this is the opposite of healthy, but it's delicious. And what I liked about this pie, most pecan pie recipes take a cup of pecan halves, okay? And I thought when I was making this, geez, that's a lot of that's a lot of pecan. What happens with this recipe is the top layer of pecans kind of float up out of the custard and they're all coated with this sugary, buttery coating and it's almost like a praline like you can pick it off and eat I mean it's so good this is such a good pie and the bacon you just get this delicious smoked bacon flavor so make sure you get a good quality um, maybe like an applewood smoked bacon or something like that just get a good flavorful bacon that you like already like don't go try something new get something that's really good and and do that but this this pie um, we had this for Thanksgiving, big hit. Everybody loved it. I mean, everybody, and it was kind of funny because it was like, this is a science experiment to <laughs> see, Hey, anybody want to try the pecan bacon pie? You know, but it, the bourbon flavor was there, not overwhelming, but you really get a nice bourbon flavor in this. So the bourbon doesn't all cook off. The vanilla infused bourbon that I made, the flavor was so good. It's just, it's a very rich flavoring. It's very, very good. So I highly recommend if you wanted to try making that, although I can honestly tell you that you're going to have a hundred bucks into it. You're going to have 70 bucks into your bourbon and you're going to have 40 bucks into your vanilla beans. So 
this isn't for people you don't like, okay? That's what I'm saying here. <laughs> this is for people you love. This is an expensive thing for people you love. But this is a great, great pie. And if you are doing something special and you want to really impress somebody or if you're having like a barbecue at your house, like all kinds of delicious smoked barbecued things, this goes great with it. I hope you give it a try. I think you'll really like this if you do. Give it a try and let me know what you think. And don't forget to check us out online on MaryMacPodcast.com, Mary Mac Bakehouse on Facebook and Instagram, and Mary Mac Mixes on Twitter. Thanks a lot for listening if you did. And if you didn't, too bad for you.